Oh, I forgot my drink. That's right. I'll be dry today. Driest. Going in dry. Dusty. <laughs> Desert-like. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of What the Sweet Fuck. I'm Nicola Fodi. I'm Megan Tonjes. And we're here to give you all things... All things fuckworthy. Fuckworthy. <laughs> the lag Listen, is we're really trying, We're me. trying to work with a <clears throat> lag, Wi-Fi issues. <laughs> we're like, no one's comfortable right now. What I will say is I, I look forward to soon hopefully next year whatever maybe for our anniversary but filming with you in a room again because it's so much yeah. easier <laughs> literally i feel like the the zoom versions it it's it's life sucking i feel like we can't be on our time on our perfect timing you know i know we're suffering hurts. listen it hurts i like i said earlier let's start a pod let's start a pod I don't, I don't oh, talk to anybody. I, you don't talk to anybody. When you said that, I thought you meant a podcast. Oh, no. We, we did actually those. have that at one point. Yeah, you we have We do, like and we can bring it back. You have 20 That, that might be what we have to do in the interim because it's so hard to film video. <laughs> yeah, let uh, us know well, how you feel about a podcast version. If you want to, you, listen, let's start a pod. I'm getting tested. Uh you know next week and let's just let's just start meeting we'll go we'll go to target we'll we'll live our life as it was before but with masks we'll just record it six no feet away in the park that's fine um, listen you could sit six feet behind me in the kitchen and i feel like the show <laughs> would not suffer i mean i'm usually six feet behind you in the kitchen doing some shenanigans in the background so listen you know what what it's really broken down for me is all the years that you and I have just been face to face, no masks, and uh, shockingly, we haven't killed each other with anything. Thank God. Now might be the time. <laughs> Before we get into it, uh, you might notice <laughs> that you're watching this on a completely different channel. This is an experiment. It's going to be in the playlist. It's going to be discoverable, tweeted, Instagrammed. But I got to see how this video performs on a different yes. channel just for my own it's like my own sati satiety satiety yeah. try What's that word and then, and, sure sure mama i can't open the door right now i don't have pants on you can give so. the babies a little peek you know only fans up in this room <laughs> up in this house they don't pay me enough for this. They pay for your for your body to be displayed across yeah. what this week fuck. Although this is a different channel. They get yours just on um, Instagram. Yeah, I think that is true. Fuck, what were we just talking about? This secret channel that's no longer a secret. Oh, channel. yeah. Oh yeah. You'll put it on the secret channel. You'll see what happens. And then in three days you'll probably upload it to your own channel because depending on how the experiment goes. And or what this week fuck will just exist on a separate channel because it does so well. So I'm rooting, I'm rooting for whatever option. Yeah, we'll see. It's in the BB's hands. It is. It's up to you. You make, you decide. I I'll guess I'll give you a okay. little, full show. Full? We got full view of that tattoo today. That's right, bitch. Mama. I haven't taken a butt photo in so long. <clears throat> it's like, it's literally, it feels like a different life. I'm like, remember when I just used to have everything out on the internet? I feel like everyone is just a different just living different, you know? Different I feel like I'm gonna be an entirely different person. I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm already a different person than I was in the beginning of the year because so much has happened. It's and different. we're exhausted. And I'm exhausted. Broken down. This is why like old people are so sweet. You know, they get to that, that yeah. period of their lives where they just, they're just hunger down into their sweetness. That's like, it. I just wanna, I just, I just wanna go to the bank at 6 a.m. and just get home for the rest of my day. I want to go to my local you know, bakery, like I, I sit down, it. and read the pape. You know? I get it. But yeah, I'm excited. Listen, 35-year-old Tanjus is is showing up. And oh, fuck. I forgot. 35-year-old Tanjus is, is disgusted. Is disgusted with everything she's done. Not I, really. Uh, but um, you're, you're I'm almost excited in to the, be a year older. And, halfway to 70 club every other day we're blaming obesity for everything that happens in the world so if i make it to 70 it'll it'll only be to spite the fucking trolls and when i live every year just to piss you off when you hit 70 you're making that video still here <laughs> bitch 
Made it to 70, bitch. <laughs> I keep I keep a list of everyone that talks about how I'm gonna die young, and then I just check them off Tag my em. list every time one of them croaks. You Outlive Sarah. Fuck you, Sarah. A little too far, Scorpio. Well, where, what are we doing? Where are, oh, uh, so what are you here for? I don't today? even know. Did we say who we are? No. Um, yeah, we did. We I? did. This is what I'm here for today. So on the day of the election, as we were awaiting results um, for the first of 40 days. <laughs> Thing for results. Forty nights. Uh, I was shocked to wake up and to not have any text messages from any of the popular weed delivery services in Los Angeles. Like, maybe it's just the social media manager and me coming out. But I was like, when midnight hit, there should have been a deal. You know. I was like, where, where is this going? So and then you you took me there. I Instagrammed. I Instagrammed about it. It was adorable because a few of them reached out and they were like, we just put some money in your account. Here's $20 or whatever it is. Canx reached out and was like, guess what? We went the extra mile. We sent out a text message. So there's a text message that went out to everyone that signed up for Canx because um, Keith got it too. That said, hi from Canx. At Megan Tan just wants you to get 10% off today. So here you go. Use Megan 10 for 10% off today. I wonder so, if it worked and when are you getting the royalties? Okay. Well, here's the first thing. First of all, it's like the worst brand deal I've ever done because I'm sure there's no kickback for me at all. <laughs> it's nothing. Listen, there's been no deal made. It wasn't sponsored. It's just you're getting 10% off out of the joy of my heart, but not necessarily right. anything that's coming into my pockets. My name. Um, an early Christmas present to all of you. Mm -hmm. um, awesome. But the greater joy within me, which maybe this is just because, you know, I have a whole demon, is whole demon. I, I imagined, you know, there are many people that love me because I'm great, but there are people that don't. <laughs> because maybe they haven't been so great and or I haven't been great, but like, we don't need to talk about that. And the idea of them getting that text message with my name, just on and just for no reason, like already blocked on social media, but Megan Tan just wants you to have 10% off. It lit me up a little bit. That That is a, a unique and wonderful <laughs> here for it. It gave me a pep in my step. But then later in the day, I realized that what it might just look like is that I, not um, regarding any kind of boundary or end of whatever, just decided to like tag them in some Canx shit and send them like temper, you know, like sometimes like you can invite people to like, oh yeah, you know, oh digit God. or whatever. <laughs> so I was like, hopefully they got other text messages from this number because otherwise it just looks like I had them added because of their phone number and I just sent them 10%. Wow, that probably I mean, Regardless, is... I look like an asshole. That has a connection, so I guess ten percent for us all. Ten percent of my fucking. Heart. Either way you look at it, it's good. I mean, it's fine for me, and I don't know if the code still works, but by all means, try it. Hold on, I have a, a surprise for the babies. It's not a surprise; it's been behind me all along, but I forgot to light it up. Hold on. Is it a baby? I hope it's the baby. You know, we're inviting into our life, into our family. So the surprise that you had for us was just you turning on Christmas tree lights. Oh, he doesn't have his headphones then. We'll fuck him. There we go. Okay. Uh, so the I surprise you had was just you. Hello, sir. We're recording a show. Would you like to pay attention now? Oh, you can't even Could see you... it because my big ass head is blocking it. Very fun. I just wanted to show you I had the crit. Hmm. Anyway. You'll see, listen, you go back and you rewatch this footage of when I was speaking and you weren't okay. here, which, by the way, felt a lot better to my spirit. And um, I was hoping it was a baby, but it just turns out to be lights. So I guess we yeah. can't have everything. Oh, I do have one more surprise, I guess, for you. Um, it's Some kind of baked like, good that's not for feet. us that's in your... Oh, we got toes. Why are you dressed like a fucking werewolf? I don't know. I'm going into furry territory today. Yeah, yes. you're giving you're giving me like sorority girl party weekends, Gone but like wild. Halloween Christmas aesthetic. Chris, Halloween Christmas aesthetic. Yes, Halloween it's Christmas scary. aesthetic. Yeah. Oh yes. Um, wait. Hold on. Pause. Can we see more of what's happening in the background? Oh. So close. I forgot this peeks right into the, the nudity section of, of the apartment. Prayers. Prayers um, <laughs> let me show you what I'm here for today. Okay. I don't think I've, I've ever thought I would be here for a sport, <laughs> but, but we're here. I can only imagine what this sport is knowing you. So let's, let's, before I, I we call know. it that, let's. I don't know if it's, it's predict, it's definitely not predictable to me, but. Um, no. 
but okay. you might, I mean, you might be able to call it. Uh, here we go. Do you see? I hope the BBs are getting a show in the background right now. Oh, I did see this. Oh, you did? With the hole in one? Yeah, this is like wild. I clicked it just like, you know, curiosity, like, okay, let's see if I can hole in one. And then it did some yeah. fucking possession tricks in the meantime. That's, so yeah, it's that, that shot it it. is nuts. We're skipping across I mean, the skipping lake. over water. Okay. Then it's going and it's curving. Tw it's twirling around. Okay. Like, how are we? The hole's over there. Okay, you see that shit. What the hell is going on? How is this happening? How did that happen? How did Listen, that happen? I'll tell you what. That is incredible. And also, he'll be chasing that for the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> I, if he, he ever duplicates that, I mean, it'll be a fucking miracle. The chances of that happening in the way it did, I, I mean, there's a lot of skill there, but that's the Lord. He doesn't even <laughs> seem as excited as I am. Listen, like th it is. makes no sense. He's None. not concerned. What? But when he, he'll see it later. He'll be drinking later, and he'll he'll watch it, and it'll. Uh, I actually don't him. even. Retire. I should have remembered what his name was. I apologize, man. But great job. I'm sorry to listen. That I I'm just all I know is that there is a beautiful man behind you. Oh, is he naked? Just, oh, he is naked. I mean, okay. You know, I wouldn't say naked, but just. What's he there's I, just I, I can't hear you. What did you say? What's yeah. Oh, okay. We're fucking. That's right. Brand recognition. Are you doing what this week? Fuck. That's right. Today, I want to talk about. Now, this is actually a heartwarming story because I'm like. Listen, we got a lot of bullshit going on. This story is wonderful. The New York Times reported the renowned Black artist Jacob Lawrence had paintings that have been missing for decades since the 60s. Okay. And this one okay. in particular was last seen in 1960. This is like such a unique style that whoever, the friend of the couple who discovered that this painting was in the couple's living room for the past 60 years. Oh my Just God. Must have known right off the bat. So basically, this person went to the exhibition and then she returned home and encouraged her friends after she realized that the painting was in their fucking living room that the Met was looking for it. And so the couple ended up giving or donating the painting to the Met where it will now go on a, a trip around the country to different nice. museums. Well, look at that. Look, look at, at that. Isn't that it's great? It's much smaller than I thought it would be based off of that photo. But yeah, it, it's such a humongous. specific style that it yeah. makes sense that if you saw that in someone's living room, you would remember it. 100%. And it makes me I want to that. see like all the other ones that are missing. And I wonder if this, <laughs> clearly my internet is <laughs> not, not working the best today. But it makes me wonder if like, anyone else has seen this article since it came out and was like, wait a second, I got some sharp lines on a painting over here. Let's let's see if uh, we can do something about this. You know, I want to talk, there's a painting that Nikki gave me a long time ago. Above that, your door? <laughs> that is um, currently, yeah, I believe it's above, it's above the door out in the kitchen. And um, I feel like there must be a famous artist behind it. Yeah, I think so too. Let me it was sort of a, a, a homewarming gift, housewarming gift, an apartment because we don't own homes with our tax bracket. Right. Um, back when I lived in Pennsylvania, and I took it the three thousand miles to Los Angeles because uh, I am a great friend. <laughs> and also, and once important. you get a creepy Santa painting, uh, you, you, where, what do you do with it that doesn't cause you to get haunted? Listen, <laughs> I mean, I... what does one do? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you who I am in real life. Okay. We're talking about art. Um, mm -hmm. This is me trying, trying desperately to create something beautiful, an art piece. This is exactly what it looks like. It's wonderful. That's me. I love that. That's a, I don't know if you've ever seen that, that kind of style before, but. Yeah. Why is it, that looks like it could actually have been you as a child. Listen, I'm not, I, I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> where I may pop up. This one is is me. Again, <laughs> not moving. 
because <laughs> we can't have nice things in this house. But you know, you get the you get the gist. This is me. I do starting I my own unique style. I'm at a general understanding. So that you know, my paintings can be found 60 years later and uh, submitted to the Met. That's you know, I had a I had a, I had a painting that I I have traveled with since Michigan that I'm pretty sure. Well, it, it definitely belonged to a neighbor across the street that died, like an old woman. Um, oh, yes. who I bought I, a, I got a bunch this. of stuff this is where I got the $20 pair head. from that everyone compliments on my Instagram and I'm like I spent $20 I was I just walked over and was like I'll just take whatever and I took that everything. bust that we had to fit in the that back bust? of your <laughs> I don't even know yeah I don't even know where the fuck that bust is anymore <laughs> mm-hmm. it's gone um but there was a painting of like a, a dock and a boat whatever it was really cute I think she painted it and I held on to it for a long time but it's just not really like you know, it's not my style necessarily. Mm. I was just holding on to it. Probably mostly scared that I would be haunted if I got rid of it. But last week, so people keep putting furniture and stuff behind our apartment. Like it's like a drop-off location, I guess people have decided during the pandemic. Mm. So the, there, there will be like couches and stuff out there. And I put the painting on top of it because I, I also noticed that everyone, we all take stuff from each other. So I was like, someone will take this. And the next morning when I woke up, painting was gone couch was still there so someone else has that painting now knowing none of the backstory of it yeah but they have taste should have left a little note we also did a similar thing where i found an old ipad that i forgot that i had it has no sentimental value but i think i wanted it from a VidCon, vidcon back in the day yeah i yep. am dumb say dftba on the back <laughs> i feel like i should have been using it this whole time but for literally forgot it existed and I tried to um, like log into it and it wouldn't work. So I was like, well, it turns on, but uh, I'm just gonna leave this by the dump, by the dumpster, see if someone gets it mm-hmm. and someone snagged it. So hopefully it works for them. And hopefully there are no well, news I hope, on I it. Hope you, I hope you cleared that off. <laughs> I, hope you, I hope you cleared off all your data, baby girl, because huh? you might have just handed the iPad to someone that has your login. <laughs> Wait. This didn't occur to me. <laughs> so you need to go into your, your Mac Apple shit and you need to see what what's connected and then like revoke permission. <laughs> Why do you do these things and not Google? <laughs> Why do you do this, Nikki? <laughs> Someone's gonna steal your identity again. <laughs> I'm hot. I feel hot. My face is hot. I, I, I would be warm. Well, <laughs> I would be warm. The good news is that that iPad's so old, it probably won't ever properly update with anything. I think so, that's because I have the, the problem. Same one. Yeah. Um. And so hopefully, let's praise and yeah. pray that um that the person who picked it up was like someone that's like this is for my kid and knows how to properly restart and reformat an iPad. Uh, otherwise, you might want to keep your eye to make sure no one's making um, iTunes purchases. But good luck. Um, I'm glad I gave you a minor heart attack, imagining all the ways that could go horribly wrong. Your very sweet act. You know what has gone horribly right? These BBs. We want to give a... <laughs> oh, God. To oh. Heather Snitch Feraloides. Heather, shut the fuck up, Snitch. Snitch, love you. Joan. Joan, Joan of, Joan Didion, Joan of Arcadia. Shannon Lemon. Shannon, la 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 so sweet, so tart. Mmm, umami, bitter, salty, all the flavors. And William Harvale. William, say no shit, but do the shit, Harvale. Uh, we also want to thank Roberto XS. Roberto 3XLXS. Cat Heart. Cat of uh, heart uh, in my chest, heart of my loins, straight to the heart, shot through the heart, and you're too late. You give BBs a good name. Stephanie. Body, calm the fuck down. Stephanie. Ooh, Stephanie. One name, Cat I love it. Like Water Flame. Cat, the truth and the light, the goddess and the water, of our heart, water, and water flame. flame, and Ale- or Alexandra Eels. Alexandra is still one of the most terrifying last names just because of what the visual it invokes, Eels. And Jennifer Best. Jennifer, not quite good, not quite great, but definitely 
best. Be best. We also want to thank all the viewers on the screen and the viewers you don't see who are our ghost BBs. If you'd like to join them and us in we the afterlife, you. please visit patreon.com slash what the sweet fuck. Thank you, yes. BBs. We enjoy uh, your presence. We appreciate you. Yeah, you can find me at Megan Tanjus on most things. Tanjus ML on YouTube. You'll find me if you if you want it if you want it badly enough. You'll find me. Yeah, you just gotta want it I'll bad. See you, you know. Yeah, you just gotta you just gotta want it bad. Are we doing an episode of uh, Hey Baby Yeah Babe? Absolutely not, because my computer is at seven percent and okay. I have to poop. Okay. All right. Well, and that's <laughs> that's and that's that on that. So have a great day, everyone. Bye. <laughs>